up, everyone? Very excited to bring you guys this match. And one side we have Frey, a, certainly the strongest Nest player online, and maybe one of the strongest Nest players in the world. Online hero, masses facing off against Provi, who is also just kind of a online warrior as well. So this is just the battle of two online warriors to see who can win it out. Uh, Krovi definitely not a stranger to playing Ness either against because he has his good compatriot uh, Chris Kringle who also plays Ness so it's going to be really interesting to see these two face off. They also are just generally just good friends and they often like play each other so always nice to see like when two friends have to face each other in like a competitive format you know what I mean? Oh what is this Frey not using the uh, Bumblebee skin? Oh yeah, he, for him, right? No, he likes the skin, and is I he, agree. Is he, is, he, is he the purple skin, huh? Yeah, he likes the purple one. Oh. I, I agree. I agree, I like that one a lot too. But it's Frey starting one. off with a strong lead, like... <laughs> we, were, we were blabbing, as you said before, and uh, yeah, This is a up. very, very volatile matchup. This is punish game extremely powerful against Falcon, and of course Falcon's punish game pretty powerful in every matchup. As we see here, great tech chase there from Krovi, finding that dare on the top platform, and he immediately converts it to, into a kill. Part of the power of being so good at those tech chases is means you're able to just convert these random hits that sort of resemble a tech chase and combo off them effortlessly because he's used to it. He gets was... Ness off stage again! Yeah, that was a nice little kind of just keeping Frey up in the air with like up airs and stuff. Uh, he could have killed with like up B around like 80, but he happened to just get an air, but it worked out for him in his favor anyways. But Frey instantly firing back. And Frey is... using that DJC to attack Falcon in the corner. Falcon tries to up smash and it does come out of time, but that's not a trade that benefits Falcon at all. Very I... good awareness from Frey. Uh, was very I... experienced in this matchup. Yeah, I, I don't know if you noticed, but this match, like, so far has just been back and forth. They, like, take turns, like, kind of just beating the snot on each other. The respawn invincibility is, is very powerful in this matchup. Neither character really has anywhere safe to go, and as we see it, the down tilt, sealing it for Frey, now like, going it, up two stocks to one, Yeah, it, just it's, firing back and forth. Yeah. And it's, in, and it's like six stocks, they think. And I have no... Yeah, he should be able to say this necessarily. Oh, but doesn't get the follow-up. Oh, but he misses the god hands. And both of these guys slightly dropping it as we're getting into these final stocks. And they're both being so aggressive. Yeah, so, yeah. So fast in their movement. That's like The kind wispy of messing each other up. That's kind of what is surprising me. Like, Krovi's just going in. And Frey, I think, is not being a stranger to it as well, but... Uh, Down smash really... misses. Just a... And... Does he mess this up? No, he doesn't. So, all I wanted to mention is that, like, Crowley should know and Frey should know that Falcon can pretty much just stand there and, and grab him when he tries to come in, like, with the DGC, like, aerial. And so it was really interesting to see kind of uh, Crowley just play really, like, in Frey's face, but Frey did a good job of just, like, being like, okay, fine, you know, I can combo you just as hard as you can get rid of me. And that's definitely what that volatility is that you talked about earlier. When I've talked to Frey about this matchup, he's always said that, you know, he actually does not like it as Ness, and he's found that it's very difficult to deal with a Falcon that just waits and then punishes as soon as he tries to do those DJC areas yep. or doesn't up till just wait there and then grab him. But that doesn't yep. seem to be the strategy that Krovi's using. I wonder if uh, Krovi hasn't heard Frey say that or just doesn't believe him, has his own ideas about how Falcon should be played because he's looking more to overwhelm Frey. So far it hasn't been working, but he is an extremely fast player, so yeah, uh, understand the attempt. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that too. Like, uh, It's very interesting to see him kind of getting a scrap more than he's just like waiting for Frey out. But maybe he'll change and adjust, but looks like Frey's able to get in and... Oh, the, Nice little DI there, kind of actually saved him, but this type of grabs. And that should kill, Ness is so late, he dies at like 80 from that, I mentioned it before, but it's just like, I just know, like, okay, like, Ness is dead here. So, Ness yeah. has to do more, like, in terms of strings and whatnot, but, you know, Ness could also just throw Falcon off if he wanted to, but you're not going to see that from Frey too much. 
fantastic edge guard there, and yeah, he just knows that percent that after a single up tilt, he could just get the grab, and it's just the rows are so powerful that he can convert that into an edge guard even from the center of the stage. A really good awareness there from Frey as he goes for another edge guard here. Has Falcon off? Ooh, this is tricky. Oh. Yeah, Frey goes off stage with the nair, but has a tough time getting back. Has to use his double jump, and it's a little slow. Manages to catch him on stage. Gets the grab. Kirby make it back. He has height. He's so far away. Is that down smash? Nice. Stays out forever, and Frey now up again, two stocks to one at the same time stamp. Oh my god! This time he you just know, finds the grab. Com this might be com it. <laughs> Commentary is cursed, like, actually, because I was like, yeah, you won't see Freya just, like, throw him off. He'll try to do a combo, and then he does it, like, twice. Oh, it's Falcon. It's no mercy against this character. Any way you can kill him is, uh, you have to take it, because his offense is so, so powerful. And, uh, Ness's throws so strong. He's just finding these grabs, kind of playing it like it's Pika Falcon or something, but with a crazy Pikachu with doubly strong grabs. Frey takes it in two. Yeah, I I really think Kirby needs to change up his approach yeah, a little bit. It I, just seems like he can't I win agree. any scraps against no, Frey. No, and Frey, Frey likes like scrapping too. Like I just I've known Frey for so long, and I know he really enjoys that. He's definitely more of a, I'm not gonna say like he gets like impatient or he like feels that like when someone's camping him, it's you know it's unfun. But he definitely enjoys like the interactive aspect of the game more than just that. And you can't really. Like, he, he just knows so much about, like, every minute detail when it comes to those small interactions. I feel that's, like, one of his assets as a player, so... Beautiful you gotta find a way to... There, yeah. Grabs the ledge, forces Falcon to go high, then just jumps up in positions that dare perfectly to immediately kill him. He's so good at these converges. Yeah, that's what I mean, too. You, you just gotta... You gotta not just get into those situations, because I think Frey's a great scrapper. We're going to have to see if Kirby can use, you know, Falcon's ability to whiff punish against Ness to his advantage. Finds this yeah, fair. That was really nice. Fair off the platform. I, yeah, Gets him I on like, stage. Should be an easy edge guard. I like oh, these two stocks so far from Kirby. Nice tech. But yeah, I like these two stocks from Kirby right now. I don't know if you see it, Rupert, but I feel like he's slowing it down a little bit more. He's yeah, saying, yeah, okay. Showing some patience. Yeah. But he does need to finish his food here. You know, these recoveries from Frey are just so good. Two back-to-back -back incredible recoveries. Frey showing what Ness can do, oh. but great shield jump there from Kirby. Getting out, gets caught again. Oh, but he's he's going back to kind of this, like, getting in. It's like, he had a really weird approach to him off, like, uh, like the top. He, like, tried to approach him from the bottom. It's like, you don't want to do that against Ness. You're going to get up-tilted. Like, just stay on the ground. But as I'm saying, Kirby does have the lead, so maybe I should just shut my mouth <laughs> He found that insane hook up air, and just there he waited, abused that tech animation. This time he gets caught, and now he's the one up two stocks to one a minute and a half in. Krovi, seal this. Oh no! We'll get another shot with respawn invincibility if he loses this, but he says nice. he doesn't need it. Up smash. smashes him. But he misses the whiff punish on that fast fall fair. Uh, those stubby arms go a little farther than it looks, and I love this edge guard. Look at this. Yeah, he just he has up with the up air and immediately down the lock. I, I feel like what we're not seeing from Krovi either is he's not like he's getting the hit, but he's not finishing his food, as you said. I feel like that's a, hu a huge difference because I think that's such an integral aspect to Krovi's play as well is that when he's on, he's on. He's definitely that type of player. He's just finding such good angles of attack. He comes oh, in with but, the DJC up there uh, and gets him off stage. Immediate conversion with the kill. Frey showing his incredible mastery yeah, of this character. Yeah, he comes yeah. in from every angle. Yeah, good stuff from Frey. Yeah, I just definitely think that Kirby wasn't... I think I've said it before about other players, but it really does come down to sometimes just they can't play their game. Like, I feel like um, Kirby is kind of in that same school of thought as Hotline where they really want to play their game and your goal is to sort of mess them up. Like, I feel like there's some players that are less deterred by that, but, you know, because he, you can, you can tell Kirby's so dangerous when he's getting his punishes and things are going right for him. And it's not to say that, like, you know, he's only good when things are going right for him or anything like that. It's just, like, there's, there's a certain lack of, you know, I want I want to say, like, he's just not as oppressive if, if his, you know, execution is just, or his text a bit off, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. 
It was an exciting performance from both players, both these guys going back and forth. Despite being a 3-0, it seems like we saw last stock situations in a bunch of the games and rapid fire combos. What an exciting match. I you guys could tune in and uh, hope you guys can make it for our final live stream to decide who will be the victor of the Autumn Cup. Thanks yeah, for watching, super, everyone. Yep, thank you.